Horton casts a glow spell on the Wizard Nebula. Welcome to SETI Astro. I took 64 15 minute exposures in hydrogen, so that's 16 hours of hydrogen. I also took 32 15 minute exposures in oxygen for 8 hours. And another 32 15 minute exposures for 8 hours in sulfur. I did find the sulfur very intriguing when you remove the stars. It, it really had this, this cool column here with, I don't know, this little jet coming off the, uh, the top of it. So sulfur I thought was uh, very interesting and, and had a lot of sharp details to it. I also decided to stretch out the hydrogen and apply some HDR techniques to utilize the hydrogen as my luminance layer. Now for palettes, again, I'm, I was torn. I really like the look of the 4X palette that the uh, 4X palette utility provides. And there's a lot of good detail in the traditional SHO that was really coming through, especially these curved they almost look like the, the, the gas is following magnetic lines of flux. Uh, I wasn't able to follow a whole lot of information on that, but it, it is quite intriguing. Uh, so what I ended up doing is, is blending the two together. So after blending the two together and uh, getting rid of some blemishes, this was my result. And just recently, Polymyan Astro put out a video about the Orton effect and his beta script uh, to do it. And I highly recommend you go over to his channel and, and look at his video. Uh, his video didn't even have the preview yet. He just came out with this one today that has that has a, a preview. So I decided to, to give it a glow on my wizard. And after running it, here's what it produced. It really brought up a lot more saturation and yeah, that ethereal glow uh, around the wizard itself. Finishing up processing. This is uh, where I left it. Uh, my Wizard Nebula getting affected by that, that Orton Glow spell. For the stars, I just used my narrowband to RGB star combination tool. And again, it just, it just does what it's supposed to do. And then recombining with the stars left me my, my final wizard nebula image here. I kept the orientation different than how it's normally presented and that blend of the 4X and SHO palettes uh, give, gives it something different. Some things that you know you don't see when it's kind of orientated the, the normal, quote unquote normal way. These uh, arcing columns again that look like they're following some kind of magnetic field lines. You really can see the the other structure along the, the limb here where the ultraviolet is transitioning from being strong enough to ionize all the, the oxygen into the hydrogen and sulfur region. Down below the wizard, there's actually a another hydrogen emission object down here, WISE G107. And you really don't see that talked about or image much, but there there's definitely some some cool little structure in there. And way off to the left in my image, there's a very dark nebula. It's a LDN 1200, but the bottom part here is TGU H665, and it is very dark. There's like almost no stars even poking through it. So um, I decided to, to look at it with, uh, with what's in my image. And I really wanted to see if any of the... Uh, the professional scopes had taken a look at this and yeah spitzer who's really the predecessor of jwst an infrared scope did image this really dark nebula so i ended up going down the the rabbit hole a little bit the spitzer data is very voluminous so to speak it uh its science data had 736 images in it. And then going to the MAST website, you could see all the, the various instruments here, but here's all the, all the Spitzer data. 
and looking at the Spitzer data, you have to, you can't download it directly like that. You have to kind of add it to the basket and then you'll download an HTML file. And in the HTML file will take you to another site where you can download the individual fits. And you know, I just, I had to get them all. And then I used image container to do some stretching on them and mosaic by coordinates as well as gradient merge mosaic to, to see what Spitzer had seen. And it, they took a, a strip right through the middle of this dark nebula. So, so let's take a look. After doing the, the merge on it, all there's, there's hundreds of images in here. Uh, you could, you could zoom pretty far in, but I decided to go ahead and we'll just rotate it and crop it and, uh, give it a little contrast. And it's just, just amazing data. This is all in the infrared. Uh, it's totally raw. So I didn't do any noise reduction or anything like that. You can see all my mosaic kind of stacking artifacts in there, but just this, this dust and all these stars that were completely invisible in my image because it's a it's a dark nebula right the in the infrared can kind of look through a lot of that dust and haze and some very interesting structures in here too especially way off to the edge here there's just these these bubbles of uh star forming areas in the in the dense in the dense cloud so i love i love using that what's my image hopping over to mass seeing what the professionals have actually image before just to just to see what's out there i've updated astrobin with the orton cast the glow spell on the wizard it has the starry and starless versions in there i have all my acquisition details and then i i in the write-up took some really nice close and crops of some of these objects we were talking about i've also included the the full spitzer mosaic that i had along with some of these other objects that, that you just don't see very often. And inside the wizard in the blue area, there's this other oxygen structure that I don't think it's talked about and, and wasn't listed in Simbad either. So even these very well-known images, maybe just taking a, a different kind of look at them from time to time will yield some really cool items to explore. I also updated my website, SetiAstro.com, with the Wizard Nebula here. It has uh, zoom, mouse zoomable images. You can you can click the image and it'll go it and take you to uh, the full resolutions. I have my write up here, and and again a big shout out to Polyman Astro and his new Orton Glow effect script that he's coming out with. So uh, I highly encourage you to go ahead and go check that out over on his website and and check out his video with it too. Please comment, like, and subscribe.